Hey folks, it's me, Michael Bach, your diversity dude, and this is Monday Morning Musings. In my continued discussion about race and racism in Canada, I could not ask for a better example of how easily people fall into racist patterns than the novel coronavirus. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, what is corona, the delicious beer, have to do with racism? There's a whole other video on that one, but I'm not talking about delicious beer. I'm talking about the novel coronavirus, emphasis on virus. And unless you're living under a rock, and welcome back if you are, you would know that the novel coronavirus is responsible for a major health epidemic that we're facing in the world today. Outbreak started in China, in Wuhan, and it has infected thousands of people there, and in fact killed several hundred. The novel coronavirus is in the same family as the virus that caused SARS, the SARS outbreak, in the early 2000s, which uh, we saw many, many cases here in Canada of people becoming infected and dying. Today, the novel coronavirus has been responsible for, wait for it, a whopping three cases in Canada, one in Vancouver and two in Toronto. And the two in Toronto are a couple but what we're seeing in reaction is a whole lot of fear and ignorance and disinformation. I'll post an article down below, but as you can see, Chinese Canadians are experiencing uh, racism and stigmatization as a consequence of this outbreak. Most recently, there was a petition that garnered about 9,000 signatures calling on the York Region District School Board to ban students from school for 17 days if their families had recently visited China. Of course, York Region has a large Chinese Canadian population. Being Chinese does not mean that you have the coronavirus. The way you get the coronavirus is by being exposed to someone who is ill with the virus. The way you keep yourself from getting the virus is by washing your hands, not touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, and avoiding contact with people who are ill. But it's entirely possible that people who are infected are white or black, or Latino, or Middle Eastern, you don't know. Just because it comes in the colors of skin, just because someone's ethnocultural identity is Chinese doesn't mean they are infected. It means they are Chinese. There's so much misinformation and discrimination going on, and this is a perfect example of how we can fall into it. We need to be thinking more. We need to be rational and avoiding groupthink. We need to be going to reliable sources for information. When you're looking up something on the web, you see something on Facebook, look where it comes from. Is it a reliable source? Is it a website that you've ever heard of? If not, it's probably not true. People put out these clickbait websites so that they can make money off of fear. And by sharing an article from a website that you don't recognize, you are spreading panic that is leading to discrimination. You need to think. Racism is alive and well in Canada, and we need to continue talking about it as I am today. So check out the article below Think about what you're doing. Wash your hands. Don't touch your mouth or nose. Practice good health behavior. If you're feeling sick, stay home. Think about it. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell 
so that you get notified whenever I release a video and like the video, like it, hearts and other emojis uh, and share it with all of your friends on social media. Also remember to connect with me on social media because I post other stuff. Uh, I am at diversity dude MB and remember to connect with CCDI. We are at CCDI social. Also remember to check out my podcast. If you haven't already talking to Canadians, it's available on Apple podcast, Google podcast, other podcast places. And if you can't find it, just go to talking to Canadians.ca and we share all the links there. I hope you have a fantabulous week and I will see you next week for another episode of Monday Morning Musings. Bye.